Hello y'all, it's me, Bokusatsu. And here, and also today, we are here to review, well, a Tokusatsu show that I don't talk about. Please forgive me if you hear my window, because my window's open in the background. I need some fresh air. But, uh, we're here to talk about Ultraman Orb. Yeah, what do you think of Orb show? I like it. I actually do like Orb. I think Orb was a good show with with somewhat of an interesting plot. Yeah, it makes up with the with the character progression and dynamics with, with the cast in general, in my opinion, like with other Toku shows. So, okay, let's begin. The show begins off with <laughs> the show begins off with a dream with the one girl having a Somewhat, well, I would say a dream. It was a flashback. You could tell that our main hero lost in a battle, and uh, he was he was sobbing ever since. <laughs> and that and that dream belongs to one. Well, well, before I go say a name, we should we we should start with introduction of the character. But uh, the that 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 uh, flashback. Or dr dr flashback slash dream belonged to no other than uh, Na Naomi. I forgot her last name. Cause I did not say her last name. Naomi is our, well, we can say, center plot. We can say that uh, in the show, she basically focus. The show basically focused around her for like for like a uh, plot rise. In uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I like Naomi for you know. I have a feeling she gets raped too. I have a feeling that there are, there's a negative side to the show that people do not like her character. Her character was annoying or stupid. I actually like Naomi. She's so, she's cheesy, yes. She's a uh, part of a, she's part of a, uh, of a, of a group of her, of a group of her own group that her and her friends made, but I like Naomi. She remind it's pretty hard for me to say it, but Naomi reminds me of who? She kind of reminds me of Akiko. You can kind of say she reminds me of Akiko because Akiko well, Akiko got too much hate. Akiko was a strong character in Double, which I really like. But, but, uh, that's just me. <coughs> Sorry, that's just me. Uh, so, anyway. So, anyway, back on saying. Yeah, Naomi is an interesting character. I like her. Also, I want to say this. I look up for her actress, like, I look up, uh, like, we're off watching the show, like, two days ago, what her actress looks like. Her actress is... Her actress retired, which, okay, fair enough. But, I look over her actress, look at the very day. She did not age, not one bit. She did not age, not one freaking bit. What the heck? I find ironic yet, I find ironic yet, Tokyo actor and actresses do not age, not one bit after the show ends. And that's just crazy right there. <laughs> That's just crazy. Oh my goodness. I said today to myself when I was watching the when I was re watching the Decker Ranger ten years after and the Go Ranger ten years after movies that both casts are not aged not one freaking bit after the show ended. And this say this is also gonna be saying here about Naomi's actress. Jesus Christ, she did not age, not one freaking bit. <laughs> so, back I was saying, one thing in Naomi, I like her. I'll get, um, I will talk about more about, I will talk about more to her when we talk about one of my, one of the, my, one of my favorite protagonists for Ultraman, we kind of say, like for, for like, I think, yeah, for protagonist wise, 
we we're gonna talk about uh we're gonna talk, we're, we're gonna talk about a guy crying crying what is it what's it crying yeah crying guy <laughs> now guy aka who's ultimate orb guy is freaking awesome I love this guy I think <laughs> I think this okay I said this to I said this on Twitter but. Guy remind me if you add Tsukasa from Decade and Hideki from Z into into one person, you get this guy. <laughs> you get Guy, and Guy is awesome. He's a he's a traveler. Yes, he look like a, he wears a cowboy hat. Hell yeah, and he look good. He looks awesome while fighting in a jacket. That's also another hell yeah. Getting a Matrix vibe from him, funny enough. I don't want to watch the Matrix. Matrix, but yeah. Getting a Matrix vibe from him, funny enough. Don't know why I am, but I just did while watching the whole show. And boy, oh boy, Guy was so cool. I did feel sorry for him. I did feel sorry for him when we got the backstory about... About... About him being orb that in the past he had a girl he had a girl that he liked and and he, her name was Natasha and uh guy thought he killed Natasha we had we find out that uh, Natasha wasn't dead I'll I'll get on to that later but when we talk about his character but uh <laughs> but uh yeah guy thought that he killed Natasha but yeah he actually Oh wait, I didn't wait. Wait, so Natasha isn't dead? What what happened to her? Guy's character. When Guy's character got to me big time because when I'm watching the show, he pretty much carried the whole entire show to me, in my eye. He was one of the reason, but uh, yeah, he he carried the show for me, and I like him. I think like I said to myself, but I think I think Orb might be my favorite Ultraman show. Yes. Wait, what's this? It's going to D Strong Z. Yes, yes, it is. There's something about Orb that I like. I just can't put my finger on it, but yeah, I'm saying right now, Orb is probably my favorite Ultraman show. So for so for my Toku platter. We have Ultraman Orb, Toku Sentai Decker Ranger, and Comrade Build. Now that is a sexy, yummy platter of Toku food right there, of Toku goodness. And I, <laughs> and that's something that, and that's something that I would not, I would not mind eating at Thanksgiving. Just saying. <laughs> What's this Toku play? Want some Orb? You want some deck guy? You want some build? Here's your plan. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, anyway, back to what I was saying. <laughs> so, back on what I was saying is yeah, War <laughs> part of my favorite Ultimate show now. I just had to get that out. I just had to get that out of the way. And I love it. <laughs> so, um, so uh, let's go on talking about. In my opinion, one of the best characters in the show. Uh, before we talk about Juggler, let's talk about Shin and uh, his friend and the other guy. I forgot his name. The, the, the other guy with the spiky hair. The part of Nanami's. Nanami's. Uh, Nanami, uh, Nanami's group. <laughs> Shin? It's basically a. Geeky version of Sento, and I like that. <laughs> he did not got on my nerves not one bit, or not got maybe not one bit while watching the whole show. And I loved it, and I loved it. <laughs> he just, he's just a dork that he's he's just a dork that loves his technology, and I can respect him for that. Cause I'm the same way. So let's talk about the other guy's name. Which, hold on, what was his name though? I totally forgot. Let me go look it up. Not know why I'm doing this now, but uh, 
We're going to talk about, uh, do, do. <laughs> we're going to talk about, uh, Jeddah. Jeddah? Wait, what's it Jeddah? What's it? Jeddah. Yeah, look how I'm Hatsume. Hatsume? That's not his name, but uh, I'm going to call him Hatsume. Hatsume, uh, <laughs> he was cool. I did like the episode when, uh, when that imposter ultimate, when he became friends with that, with that fake Ultraman orb. That, that was pretty cool. I like him. That, that was a good episode. That's one of my favorites, to be honest with you. That was a good episode. <laughs> so yeah, he was cool. Like, not, like, nothing big. <laughs> he was dorky, yes. But at the same time, him and Shin are the comic relief of the show, and I... And I love that, to be honest with you. <laughs> ah, man. So, let's talk about Juggler. Now, before we talk about Juggler, my bad, let's talk about the uncle. What do I think of the uncle? I love him. <laughs> He's just a wholesome uncle that just that just doing his duties as a uh, as a what was it? Officer? Police officer? He's not a police officer. Again, he does carry a gun on him a lot. Yeah, as a police officer. <laughs> but yet. But yeah, he was yeah, he was yeah, he was clumsy and pretty funny in the whole show. <laughs> I hate to admit this, but uh I actually liked the episode when he was when he was uh saving protecting his daughter Catherine Catherine but Catherine from the from the alien that disguised himself as a human. I liked that episode. <laughs> The uncle just the uncle just wholesome. He, I had no, I had no, I had no, no anger towards him. He reminds me a little bit of Sogo's uncle from Zio, and I like that. And we both, we all know that I'm not a big fan of Zio. But yeah, he reminds me of Sogo's uncle, and I like that. <laughs> the uncle, the uncle's awesome. I had no, I had no anger toward the uncle. He, a plus for him. So let's talk about Juggler. <laughs> why my <laughs> one of the <laughs> one of my favorite characters in the show. One, yeah. one of my favorite characters in the show. Not gonna lie, a friend of mine told me my before I watched Orb, a friend of mine told me that Juggler and Orb are basically friends of me. They both hate each other. They both want to kill each other. Pretty much, or pretty much that Juggler. In general, in this whole entire show, we find out why Juggler has a burning hate passion for Guy, because Guy was chosen to be Orb, he wasn't. And and the whole entire show, he, the whole entire show, pretty much proves my point by that. Like, oh, okay, so, okay, let me say. So you're mad and jealous that your friend was chosen to be the light, while you got. Well, you got chosen to be the darkness. <laughs> Let's turn brightness into darkness. Yeah. So basically, they gotta be the one. <laughs> I, I sorry, I had to say that. I had to say that. <sighs> no, sorry. I had to say that. I had to say that. I'm sorry. I had to say that because I was, I I couldn't I couldn't make a build pun. I couldn't control myself from making a build pun on him. My bad. <laughs> so uh, yeah, Juggler remind me a little bit. Also, he he remind me to be honest of Abakiller. He remind me a little bit of Sukasa as well. But yeah, he also reminded me a little. He pretty much reminded me of Abba Killer at this point because he's just wandering. He reminded me a little bit of Sukasa as well because he's just, well, wandering. Well, I'll say more at the end than Sukasa because he loved to steal stuff just like DN does. 
He might be at the end though. An Abba killer. He's just wandering. He's just wandering places, waiting for a guy to get his ass kicked and just steal something from guy. I'm like, oh, great. He's just stealing shit. That's just great. Dude, I freaking love Juggler. I can see why people like Juggler, because Juggler, Juggler is actually a, a interesting character. The whole time I'm watching the show, I'm like, oh, hey, Juggler, what's up? He got my good side. He was creepy at a few parts, not going to lie, and I didn't like those parts. But I have more positive than negative. Well, for now, until we get on to the negative stuff about the show. But I would take a juggler. Pretty cool. I like him. I can see why a lot of people like juggler. Because first, oh, sorry. First time watching Z, Z or Z, whatever you want to call it. I, I was not paying attention to juggler that much. But when I'm watching Orb, I was. And Orb, and he got my, and I can see why, I can see why a lot of people like him. He's cool. Not gonna lie. Hey, uh, Super I demand, Super I, the fans demand a juggler season. Just saying. Because he wasn't Zet. That's pretty cool of him being there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Juggler? He's cool. I liked him. He's just basically the blinted asshole that pretty much anyone who wants to say, Oh, hey, yeah, uh, I'm here. F you. And, yeah, fuck you, too. <laughs> he, he, was, he, was, he was a douche at times, yeah. But, again, then, he was, play, he was playing the villain, so... I'll let him, I'll let that slide. So, let's talk about my negative. I have to say that I had a weird feeling that this show was trying to ship Guy and Naomi together because we know, because we know that, uh, see, the descendant of Guy's long dead girlfriend, well, not dead girlfriend, Natasha. And I'm like, wait a minute. So, why the freak did her? So, why the freak did her mom not tell us about her, this? Tell her that? Oh yeah, uh, oh yeah, your great grandma, great grandmother, it's great grandmother. What her name? Her name was Natasha. And I would love to see Naomi making a big deal out of it, but yeah. Now nah, we didn't get that. It would be really cool. For real. I wanted to see Naomi to get frustrated and mad that her mom kept this secret from her. I wanted her to be like, wait a minute, so you're telling me this whole time while Guy's son was living with us, I was the descent I'm the descendant of his somewhat not dead girlfriend. And I'm mom be like, Yeah, pretty much. No, nope, we never got that. Never got that, and that just irks me. Cause we shouldn't have. I like all the scene. I like all the wholesome scenes between Naomi and Guy. I did. Guy felt like Guy felt like he almost killed Naomi while Naomi got brainwashed, was kidnapped by that giant freaking mecha robot. He felt Guy felt Guy felt like Guy felt like Guy put all the pressure on himself, saying that he almost killed her. But yet, funny enough, <laughs> he had a dream and so he saw Naomi and Naomi told him to come back and she apologize except for who he is. Like, wait, what? How did he have a dream about her? <laughs> no, for real though, how did he have a dream about her? Well again then dreams do dreams are dr dreams are dreams, but yeah, he, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. But uh, yeah, I I'm just saying, I felt like the mo I felt like them trying to shit Naomi and Guy were kind of weird. And also, I kind of find funny how yes, he figured out that Guy was Ultraman Orb this whole time to show. But yet we go to the movie. <laughs> yet yet we go to the movie. Uh, 
her friends found out that, wait, guy, wait, guy, son, your orb? I'm like, yeah. Now let me found out. Now let me find out. Now let me man to find out to the last episode. Don't know how, but she did. <laughs> Don't know how, but uh, she did. I just, I don't know. As much as I did enjoy the somewhat subplot mystery between Naomi and Guy, I wish that I wish that there was more to that to that somewhat storyline because it wouldn't be really cool to see what they've done. But that's just me. But that's just my opinion right there. Also, I want to say that I I, I didn't bring this up, but uh. Juggler. I I know I just finished talking about why I like Juggler. But uh I actually did like how I actually did like how to the show Juggler will have his moment of him being good and bad. And I like that. <laughs> While he was being not the nicest person you can say, we found out that uh he's he's the one that said Natasha. What <laughs> Well, well, guy got his butt whooped by that one kaiju. And I like that. But I do want to say that. What was the point of him? What was the point of him slashing uh, Naomi in the, in the final episode? <laughs> in the final scene of the, of the season finale? Season finale episode? What was the point of him slashing her? Did like for real, what? Because that that seemed kind of uh, pointless, I guess you can say, because it was. Like for real, why slash her? And yet, next scene, so oh, he killed her. He he didn't kill her. Not know how the heck he managed to survive that injury. But hey, not the first time he managed to survive through death. Just saying. Wasn't trying to make a joke out of that, but uh, yeah, she's always in the, she's always in the most unexpected place, unexpected places ever. Yeah, she always get kidnapped. She does. She gets kidnapped so many times. But uh, yeah. So before we talk. I'm not done talking about I'm not done talking about Orb, but I want to say this. The theme song. I love it. <laughs> it gave me the same hype as Ultraman Zet's theme song. And I love it. <laughs> it might be a little bit of G as well. In Rube for the theme song, but that's just me and my that's just me and my tea. Not triggers. Not triggers. But just just the one from just, just the one from the new generation, you can say for Heisei. But uh, yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about the movie. The movie takes place at the show, and yeah, I'll be honest with you, I didn't like it. Well, I like Orb's part, but I'll be honest with you, what was the point of Ultraman Seven, Ultra Seven, the original Ultra Seven? What's the point of the OG Ultra 7 part of Victory and Ginga being there? In Zero! X makes sense. X made perfect sense because he was involved with the plot. But the other ones? No, they felt unnecessary. And for the record, I, said this, I have not watched Ultraman Ginga. Or, I have not watched Ultraman Ginga. But I'm just saying, Ginga and Victory were unnecessary. Unnecessary to be part of this movie. What am I saying? It's an Ultraman movie. Of course, our Ultramans are going to be in there. <laughs> so uh, back on. So uh, back on. What I was saying is, yeah, yeah, they felt unnecessary. But what I do like about this movie is Orb, because Guy is still trying to protect everyone. Because he not want them, he not want to, he not want them to be in the same fate as 
as Natasha was. And if Naomi told him, Guy, Guy, son, remember, we're here for you, buddy. We're a team. And I'm like, damn. She still cared for Guy, son. Just damn. But, uh, yeah, I like the movie. Not gonna lie, I kind of was, I kind of, not gonna lie, I will say that it was, it was cool seeing guy kicking butt in a, in, in a Hawaiian, in a, in a Hawaiian outfit. <laughs> Pretty cool, yeah, also a little cheesy hand there, but hey, that's token for you in general. But, uh, yeah. I didn't like like this movie hundred percent. I like Orb's part in X, but other than that, the other Ultraman were unnecessary. Like zero, like for real. Man, they feel he had like what five seconds in in opening, like what in the first fight with him and Orb fighting this one monster, one kaiju. Then and we don't see him till like the final scene in the end credits of Orb, with <laughs> in the Orb movie. That's it. That's literally it. I don't, I don't understand why was Zero in there. Cause he just felt unnecessary. I, I don't, I don't know. I didn't like the movie. So that's as simple as that. I wish they kind of dumb. I wish if they did add, they didn't need to add Ginga or Victory or Zero. Cause like there's no point of it. Cause like. What was the point for what was the point are you guys what was the point are you adding them in there? Oh I get it. Fan service. And it's a crossover movie with Ultraman. I haven't watched a lot of Ultraman movies, so please forgive me. But uh Yeah, it just wasn't it just wasn't necessary. It was kinda of, well dumb. If I'm saying it like that. Yeah, it was. I don't know what Super I was thinking and all, but, uh, yeah, that wasn't, uh, good. That wasn't good. Just saying. So, let's talk about the villains of the show. The, basically, the villains are your weekly, daily, daily day basis kaijus. Pretty much it. Or, not or. Jugger is trying to bring back the ultimate kaiju, which he did. But yeah, it went out of control and almost killed a lot of people. And took out Guy as well. But I was laughing at one episode. With that one girl saying, hey, you're Ultraman Orb. I'm like, wait, what? How does she know? How does she know he's Orb? How? How does she know he's Orb? <laughs> that, was, that was pretty funny. That was pretty funny, though. <laughs> Like, imagine my own right? Yeah, you're at the park drinking water. Someone say, hey, I know you. I know you. Hey. Hey, you're that one superhero. I'm like, wait, what? What superhero? I'm not a superhero. I'm just a guy who's in my own business. It would be funny, though. <laughs> yeah, my own business. Someone say, hey, I know you. You're decayed. I'm like, wait, decayed? How am I decayed? I'm not, I'm not decayed. I'm just my own business here. <laughs> Ah, too funny. Too funny. <laughs> too funny. Too funny. Guy was awesome. <laughs> Guy was awesome. That for sure. My favorite. I think Guy is probably my favorite ultimate protagonist. <clears throat> and, I'm now, and I'm tempted to go find the premium Bandai Ultraman Orb. Uh, Ultimate Orb Changer, if I can find that, I won't. I know because I, I know I won't because they have a memorial version. I I was bought off Mandarake though for Zet, the memorial Zet Riser. Didn't buy it though, but I almost did, and good thing I did it. But uh, yeah. So what do you think, Ultimate Orb? Ultimate War is just your regular daily day basis monster of the week show, but at the same time, 
the cast for the cast makes up for being a lovable, interesting show. I got a Decker Ranger vibe from watching this show. You can tell, and I, I love it. I love it. Twenty five episodes and like what? Like what? Like what? what? Three more content. Three more extra content for the show. With what? With uh, uh, freaking two movies and one prequel show for Orb. I didn't watch those, except for the movie. But uh, but yeah, Ultimate Z Ultimate Orb was a fun show, and I actually like it. I love it. <laughs> Probably my favorite. Actually, my actually now my favorite Toku show, right next to Building Decker Ranger. Oh man, just damn! I fucking love Orb. They, they, they are my favorite. I think my favorite form for Orb has to be the Zero form. Yeah, my yeah my my other favorite form has to be Orb Origin because that's a cool final form. And I love it. And I like the sword too, or caliber. It looks so cool. I wish that we got like a somewhat a, a memorial side version of that sword. Just saying, but hey, whatever, Bandai. But uh, yeah. What do you go to? What do you think? If you like Ultraman, go watch Ultraman War. Ultraman is a good show. I can't hate it. While well, I do have some negatives here and there, like I didn't like. Like, I wish that uh, the show give us more time, give like a scene of Naomi, Ma telling her Naomi about Natasha being her great grandma and her being the descendant of, of Natasha, and and the creepy moment, and the um, somewhat moment that show is trying to ship guy with not not me, not me, not know why they tried that. But uh, yeah, it, that didn't work out. Just saying, cause at least anyway isn't writing this show. But uh, yeah, it was worth really fun. More positive than negative, yes. But w w what? I can't be mad at this show. I love it. So yeah, guys, that's my review of Ultimate Orb. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow my social media in the description. Yeah, guys, my next review, probably, my next review on my podcast, if I'm not doing, like, if I'm not, if I'm not, like, doing, if I'm not doing a review on the podcast, I'm probably reviewing a figure, but yeah, my next review, probably going to be on the freaking, uh, yeah, my next review is probably going to be on Q, uh, Jujutsu Sentai, Space Sentai, Q Ranger. Yes, I'm rewatching Q Ranger. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Till next time, guys. I'm out. Peace.